Hey guys, how are you tonight? All right, just trying to find the edge. Here we go of this tape. Um, so tonight, well, we're gonna overlap it just a tad. Um, I'm using this embossing folder, and it's all pretty and swirly and all that good stuff. And we're going to try to do a primarily blue flower card. Um, this card was kind of a, spe a special <coughs> request and um, from a friend of mine that um, that wants to send it to someone else and um, she has a another friend that has a sick mother and I think she's going to have probably a total hysterectomy. Um, so she kind of wants a thinking of you card and honestly what she originally asked for, um, as a matter of fact, I'll find it on my phone, um, and show it to you. Um, it was for, it was kind of like little blue flowers in, um, in a jar. So... You know, when she asked, I was like, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> and you know how you say that, right, guys? And then you're like, oh, my God, freak out mode. But, you know, you always say, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, <laughs> so do you guys do that, too? And then it's just special request kind of things or if I really know the person or whatever. It, like, just, I don't know. I feel the pressure. I want it to be cute or nice or good or them to enjoy it, you know, just all that stuff. And so it always adds just a little more pressure there. Um, but in this case, I want it to look nice for my friend, but um, definitely nice for the lady. So um, I want to definitely bring a smile, you know, for her. So... <laughs> In saying that, um, all right, you know what we're going to do our, our coloring, because I want to do one little bit of stamping first, and I have to do this before I do the stamping, I think, um, so we're using this often, ugh, why do I always do that, ugh, right in it, first, first off, that's great. Um, Alta New Crisp Dye Ink in Industrial Diamond. And so we're basically just going to pounce over this whole entire little um, watering can card. And even though she did want um, a, what do you call it, a mason jar kind of thing, which I do have. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a second card. Um, and see if she would rather have that. I just can't get those to seem to come out to look as good. Um, and I'll tell you more about that as we go on. The part that does not seem to work as well. So, um, this is a little spout, which I cannot seem to, uh, hang on to. I guess it's going to go that way. So... Alright, so we just want that basic um, color on there. So I'm going to lay that to the side, but I do want to go ahead and um, do my Wink of Stella. I don't know if this will show. She wants, the reason that she wanted the, um, the mason jar was that she really likes the look um, of glossy accents. So I'm going to make this a glossy accent piece. Um, but we've got a lot to do before we even get there. Um, but, um, so I don't know if it's just the jar that she's got her heart on or she just likes the gloss. I think it's just she likes the glossy accents, but, um, I can do it with a jar. It just doesn't look as good in my eyes. So we'll see how it goes. Um, okay. So I'm going to set that to the side and... Honestly, this card does not have a whole lot of, um, of stamping. Um, it's just got more, um, 
die cuts and flowering and stuff. This is, I believe, an old Stampin' Up um, stamp. I've unmailed most of mine. And um, hmm. so I'm going to do it down here because I think I'm going to put maybe a little butterfly or something, possibly, right there. Okay. So, let's ink that up. Um, I hope that just setting this to the side will let it dry enough to um, where the glossy accents won't, like, make it all goopy and, you know, you can still see it through there. So, if it doesn't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I guess we could stamp it on the inside or something like that. I'm not sure. But hopefully, it'll come through for us. So, for right now, that's all our stamping. Okay, so let me get a new sheet there. Okay, so that is uh, what that ended up looking like. So, let me... Roll up my sleeves here. All right, so what we're kind of going with is this is going to be here and here. And I am, I did use a cream instead of a white. I thought it was like less, I don't know. It just seemed more, more something, more subdued, but more, um, I don't know what you call it. Okay, so we're just going to kind of set that to the side. Because for right now, we are going to color up a bunch of these. Now, my dilemma is I was trying to just stick to three colors. Um, I just cut out a bunch of flower ones. But I cannot seem to pick them up. Okay, so those, that one's going to be green for sure. And I have colored some already to kind of save time. But I do want to... That's probably going to be green. That's probably going to be green, although... I don't know. I don't know how many we need. <laughs> like I said, I've colored some. The only other color I was thinking of adding was orange. And I'll go ahead and show you these that I have colored and, and put a little wink of Stella on. So I have kind of a pink. Although, you know, it's not really much of a pink, is it? Maybe I'll get a different pink. Um, yeah, let's, let's do a different pink. Uh, I was using an archival pink, but let's go, let's go with this color. I don't want it to be too bright, though. Maybe pinkalicious. Let's try pinkalicious. Let's, let's put that one out in case we need it. Alright, so let's just kind of test it out up here in the corner. That is, that is pretty bright. No, I think I'm going to try this one. Alright, so we're going to go with Pinkalicious there. Um, so, but anyway, so I don't know if I should add the yellow or not is my question. And I don't really need the stems colored. Um, I don't think they're really going to show the way I put it, but we can kind of go on down just a little bit with it. So let's go ahead and make one of these pink. So how was your all's Valentine's Day? Mine was good. It, um, it was really good actually. Can't, uh, I can't complain this year. Um, it started off with my, my father. He, um, he got me his, I guess, traditional nightgown. Um, <laughs> he gets, um, he used to get me and my mom, actually, when she was alive, um, a nightgown for pretty much everything. 
um, what color is that? I guess that's yellow. Uh, we're using this buttercup. I used to get us um, like some sort of nightgown for Christmas, usually with, you know, some kind of theme of something on their snowman, reindeer, or whatever. Um, he was big on getting sweatshirts and things too with that, but um, just random things. But anyway, eventually it kind of moved into the nightshirt thing and um, just something comfy and relaxing and whatever. And uh, so he got me one of those and he had gone to the doctor that day <coughs> so he um brought home let's put a little of that in the center there hmm, kind of like that might have to go add, back and add some centers to these possibly all right so this is the blue that we're using this is actually the blue um as she sent me a picture on Pinterest that she found and so I'll show you guys that um, but it was this uh, Stampin' Up! Marina Mist and it's a, I think this color is retired but um, anyway she just said that the lady's favorite color is blue so I wanted to stay with this cardstock um, the ribbon I put down um, was Marina Mist as is this ink and we're going to go with that. But anyway, so back to Valentine's Day. Um, anyway, so he brought me home some uh, fried rice from the Japanese place because I am seriously in love with fried rice. He actually thought it was fried rice, but they gave him white rice. Um, so we jazzed that up a little bit. And uh, with my Chinese stuff, I... I've still not really fixed any Chinese stuff with here. But I do want to do some Chinese cooking. I really do. I'm excited to do that. Um, it's coming. It's coming. I thought I was going to do it like on snow days and things. But we really, other than that flood thing, we haven't really gotten out of school. So that had not happened. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and close this because I don't know. I don't think I'm going to need that again. All right, so now we're using the Alta New um, Grass Field. And anyway, so they brought me random things, like all my favorite stuff, though. Um, so they brought me some pineapples, because I love pineapple. And um, and then he brought my doggie some treats, because I love the doggies. And that means so much to me. I don't know why, but it does. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, people not forgetting your children, I guess, if you have children. Um, my doggies are my children, so. But anyway, um, so he brought them some treats, and so that went well. He also made me some party mix. Um, that was later in the day, I guess. And, um, like, checks mix, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I love this greenery stuff. So, I'm going to do these, too. These little, cute little baby green things. I'm going to do all these. I have some more over there. I might do those too. I feel like these could kind of go anywhere. Anyway, okay. So, um, and actually the night before, technically that started my Valentine's Day, um, my friend Amy sent me, and you guys saw the haul on here, um, a gift certificate to Heartfelt Creations, which helped get all my lovely tea goodies. And I love that tea stuff. That is the wrong side. Um... So I was excited for that for sure. And it's always great to get a stampy kind of gift. Um, then um, we had a full work day that day. We really, really, really thought we were going to get a delay. But we didn't. Um, we were actually supposed to get out early. But they took it away. Because whatever. Because we've been off for the, uh, for the, the snow. I mean the flood thing. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna open this back if I can. Come on, I can't get it open. Okay, um, I'm just gonna use a little tiny paintbrush and see if I can add, sort of liven up the center there, like it it would be the center of a flower, but we don't really have one. <laughs> so I don't know if that's. 
that's gonna mess up a lot, but I don't know. Um, so anyway, so then that night or that evening, um, do these have centers? Do y'all think? I don't know. I'm just gonna. Yeah, not go down that way. I uh, better just leave that one alone. Just add a hint, a hint, a hint. I don't know. Okay, so we're just going to leave that because I don't know. I think that's going to mess it up. Um, and, of course, the best gift of the day, honestly, was that um, my dad had a good doctor's appointment. Um, and he had no, he went to, like, the skin cancer doctor. And he didn't have any new places or anything, which he often does, unfortunately. So um, <coughs> that was <coughs> that was wonderful. But anyway, um, so then I went to my fiance's house, and um, that was awesome. We just kind of hung out. We had a pizza that night, and um, we ate lots of yummy chocolates and kind of fed each other and all that good stuff. And he got me a little um, heart necklace. Well, heart neck. It was like a necklace earrings, and then like a ring. Of, um, gosh, that's gonna be way down in there. Um, hmm. I wonder if I should cut that off and like use it differently. No. Anyway, uh, and this adorable little uh, red ruby like heart ring. So, which was ended up being the wrong size, which he knew. So he went ahead and like prepaid for sizing. So all I have to do is take it and drop it off, which I thought I was already gonna do, but I didn't make it there. The other day so um so that was awesome and okay um but anyway so we just spent the night snuggling he rubbed my feet that's awesome <laughs> um nice foot massage is always good and then the next day we went out out as far as out to eat and things Okay, so I said the card is going to be primarily blue. Probably should have done this before. I don't know, I don't know how you arrange it without arranging it. <coughs> okay. Hmm. All right. So I got to get some more blue in here. Part needs to be punched out. There we go. Okay, now I need. I like the whole actual, like maybe a, the blue and yellow together. That's a pretty awesome combination, I think. So I just want to kind of layer quite. Quite a few of them. Oh man, guys, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> I wanted to do glossy accents on everything first. I mean, not glossy accents, but um, what do you call that? Wink of Stella. Sorry, guys, I'm half asleep right now. So bear with me. Okay. So we'd have that, and we'll imagine that coming out from the side. I don't like that one on top is the only problem. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is, well. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I don't know. Hang on. Let's just take all those back off because they're not glossed up and I want them glossed up. And these <laughs> I already did are, so I know I want that one there, there, probably there, and apparently I need one more. So let me just do that now before, before I forget. going 
to glitter, glitter, glitter. I would actually like to put glossy accents on all these um, and not just the watering can. However, I don't think they would ever dry and like lay right and it'd kind of be a mess. So I guess you could do each individual one later or something. I don't know, but uh, I don't think that would go very well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glossy this one. So now I'll probably use that. I do like this one. Probably should have cut a few more of these. But we'll see. I don't want I don't want like green overkill, but but I do I definitely want the blues in there. Because we're trying to draw that blue out since it is her favorite color and it's the background color and all that good stuff. So, and then inside, uh, I didn't actually show you, but oh well, here I'll just go ahead and take it off. <laughs> we haven't glued it down. So, inside, I just did one of these to match, and I really like that. So, let's go ahead and put that down because, um, the friend that requested it wanted plenty of room to write. Um, she loves to write heartfelt stuff and all that. I do not. <laughs> That's why I like the sentiment stamps myself. But um, she definitely wants plenty of room to write. So hopefully that will give her plenty of room. And it will also pick up on that blue theme that we've kind of got going. Kind of. Alright. Go ahead and do. Oh, I did that. Okay. We do this blue. Probably. I don't think I should have done those centers now. I almost think that does not look right. But I can kind of put those in the back, I believe. Okay. And I could also put. Uh, some Nuvo drops. I do have those out. I put some puffy tape on this. You can't hardly tell once it's actually raised, but okay, I've now lost our watering can. Alright, so that's going to go about there. So we just need our, so we know we want kind of some green over here. And then some green on this side. So why don't we kind of start there. I see a little bit of white right there. And we'll kind of build from there. It's like Build-A-Bear, but we're going to build a flower. Flower bucket. A watering bucket. Watering can, I guess. Okay. And we can tuck in more greenery if we need to here and there to fill it in, especially with those little tiny ones. I think those will be a good little filler. If you guys have any particular, um, I don't know what you call them, like filler dyes, like this kind of stuff, um, please let me know. I'm always looking for like something nice for filler. So, okay, so let's kind of put this back on see where we are. It's pretty forgiving, luckily. Hmm. That could be over just a little bit more, but I think it'll be okay. Alright, so let's get this party started. Get it started. Let's get it started. <laughs> anyway, you guys know I can't sing. I sing all the time to myself. Okay, that is a pretty one, I think. And I also like this pink one kind of right beside of it in the same kind of flower. And then we'll put some different ones as we go along. I don't want to put like glue overkill, but I don't want to put like 
or it's not enough either. Okay. So we've got that. We need some yellow. Okay. I'm just going to snip off that bottom part because I don't think we need that. Put our can back on. Okay. Cute. Alright. So now we're going to do some more blue. Since that is our focus color. Just kind of cover up some of the green. With some of that initial whatever. So I'm thinking about putting that just to cover that um, yellow just a little bit. Kind of like it's maybe. I'm thinking about it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay. Well, I don't know if she will like this, but I am liking it. I think it's pretty darn awesome. We got Dr. Seuss week coming up at school, and uh, um, I think it's the beginning of March, maybe, something like that. All right, let's see here. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of enough. Um, I'm going to do one more pink. I don't want to detract from the blue too, too much, but again, I'm just going to snip that bottom part off because I really don't need it. Okay. Anyway, so we've got Dr. Seuss Week coming up. We've got um, Who Hair the First Day. And, um, alright, so I think I'm going to pop this up with some puppy tape. Um, you know that crazy hoop hair, don't you? And then we have crazy sock day, and we kind of do something all week for that. Um, then there's wacky tacky day that, that week. Um, gives you kind of permission to dress a little crazy. We've got a twin day. What else? Mm -hmm. I think the last one, I believe, is School Spirit. That's what it is. That we usually have that, um, like, on Friday. So, uh, but again, just a nice excuse to wear some T-shirts and jeans or something and um, show some School Spirit. We've actually ordered um, the, from a lady that used to work at her school, um, I guess, I wonder, sometimes I wonder if she does it with a cricket or something. I'd like to know. But, um, anyway, we've ordered some Dr. Seuss shirts with their school name on there. So, that would be cute. They were only like, I believe they were $15, so not too bad. Okay. So, now, I just want to put a little bit of filler, like right there and right there, maybe. Or maybe should I do it behind? Yeah, I should do it behind. Okay, we can do that. There's glue on my hands everywhere. It is so gross. Gross, gross, gross. We've been doing nothing but testing, testing, testing right now. We do like a practice test for the big spring test. So, I've been locked away testing. Not... Not fun, not fun. Okay. So, do you think I need a third one? I feel like some things are better in three, so let's try three. Had to go to the doctor yesterday. Um, made it right before they closed, and they took me as a walk-in. <laughs> I went in wearing a mask and everything. Like, my God, what's wrong with you? I did that last time, last year, this time too. Um, I don't want to get the flu. I feel like the flu is there 
and I do not want it. I don't want to leave with any more than I came with, you know what I'm saying? So, doctor is laughing, but that's okay. I don't care. So, and then I woke up this morning, like, with a little bit of a sore throat, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> but it was okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to add our piece here. And I think this will be, if I cut with the puffy tape, let me get my other scissors, because those scissors do not like puffy tape. They get really super sticky on there. Let's just cut a little bit like that. I think we can take the wider one here. Yep, we can. We can, we can, we can. Just trim that little tiny part that shows off right there. And we'll be fine. Okay. Oh dear, <laughs> forgot to leave room a little bit for, for it to like stick under there. Hmm, okay. Well, that's okay, it just makes it bigger. Da -da 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 -da. We could actually put one of these there if we needed to. Hmm, kind of like that. I'll leave that and we'll think on gluing it later. Okay. So, so what do you guys have coming up this this week for crafting purposes? Are you, uh, okay, so I'm going to glossy accent this probably next, but I want to see what else I want to do. All right, so I need one, two, three, and four. enough ink on there I believe. Now we'll just glitter them all up a little bit. Glitter helps the world go round. Okay. Ugh, my fingers are so bad. Um Maybe just down here now. What do y'all think? Down there. Down there. I feel like if we did one right there, that'd be plenty. I don't think we need any up here because of this sort of takes over. So I think that'll be I think that'll be enough. So we're gonna commit and glue it down. Ooh, I said the C word. Commit. Freaks me out. Freaks me out in real life anyway. Okay. Okay. A little, oops, a little bit there. A little bit here. And I think this will be quite the adorable card. Just gotta make sure that glossy accents does not run over. Ooh, ooh, hmm, how am I gonna do that? Might have to take that one back up to put our glossy stuff back on. I think I will. I think I better do that first. That one, that one will have to be put on after the glossy accents, I believe. Okay. now um okay we said we we're gonna do a little butterfly so here's the butterfly dog i have let's get a little it's really dusty oh my gosh start sneezing i don't use my punches like i used to but i still really like them don't want to get rid of them. So let's just kind of put him right there. What do y'all think about that? Let's gloss. 
not glossy, but let's uh, glitter him up. And that always helps. Okay. So we can add that there. I might just smush it in the gloss. You know what? No, 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 I'm not. I'm going to wait again um, until after the glossy accents dries. Probably. Probably. To put that on. Alright, so I keep talking about it. So let's get it out here. Um, I've got my needle. It's not like a derby. I've got my needle waiting. Um, I've got my needle in it so it won't clog up on me because uh, that's a problem in like two seconds. And I know you guys probably won't be able to see this until like the card is actually done and I always forget to come back and like splice the video together and show you so you can probably just see it in the picture thingy. Um, but I do have one I did a little bit earlier that is drying that I did not stamp on, but I didn't like it that I wasn't stamping on it, so, yeah. Okay, so, this one is going to be tricky, but it does, it doesn't really run, shockingly. I mean, it really holds its form, so it's pretty impressive little stuff, to be honest. Um, it really is. And you can do it any which way you want. I mean, you can fill it in this way. You can go across. Just whatever. Whatever you want to do. I don't know if... Like I said, I hope that ink is dry enough now that this will not affect it. And it will not blur or anything. So, fingers crossed. And it is the um, memento ink. Which helps with, you know, like, um, Copic markers and things. It doesn't, like, bleed with that, but I don't know about just with this stuff. So, hopefully not. But it usually takes, I give it, I don't know, 24 hours or so to dry. Honestly, I did that one not too long ago, so it's been drying, I don't know, maybe... Three, four hours something like that and it's pretty dry I could touch it but you wouldn't want to like stick your finger in completely so you try not to get any bubbles if you do try to pop those ahead of time because they will show and sometimes they just form anyway like you can't help it but um, I do try to take care of the bubbles as I go I feel like that's gonna be a bubble right there <laughs> Possibly that. Okay, so now we'll just do the handle and we will be almost done. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Where's my lid? It's not going to matter because it'll clog anyway. It clogs every time. Every time. Does not matter every time. All right. So, did I get that very, very end? Yeah, I did. All right. So, we can see if we want to put this in there now or not. I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> but it will, you know, make it dry quite hard. So, I guess it's okay. All right, guys. So, there is our little card. And um, I hope the lady does very well and um, heals nicely and, you know, hope, I don't know, all those good things. <laughs> I don't know what, oh, you know what, I was going to do this too. Ooh, you hear me breathing. Ooh, okay. I have to touch it with something, but I have to find something. Okay, I think it'll be all right. I don't know if it needed that one. Oh, really don't. Meh. Oh well, whatever. Okay, guys. So <laughs> we're done. 
All right, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to y'all later. And you know what? Hang on. What about these? Should we add some extra little blue flowers or anything? We could change this white and just use air sponge stuff to do them blue. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. All right, guys. Bye.